the Whitby Way is a 72 mile hike from York Minster to Whitby Abbey, which meanders through the Vale of York and over the North Yorkshire Moors. It visits many pilgrimage places of interest while taking in the ever changing and beautiful landscapes of Yorkshire. Join me as I hike along ancient pathways as well as moorland tracks and field paths, enjoying the places and people that make this great county so very special. Hello, welcome to another video. This is the Whitby Way, which is a pilgrimage from this, the majestic York Minster, all the way to Whitby Abbey. Turns out my nan and granddad have done it as well. So I'll be following in their footsteps, which is always a bonus. I'm looking forward to getting it going. I've got to stop talking on this because people are looking at me like I've lost my marbles. But check out the majestic York Minster. Right, I've just set off walking at round round here and I'm like, should I do something symbolic? I think I should do something symbolic because it is a pilgrimage, or it was a pilgrimage back in the day, so and it links these two beautiful buildings. So what I'm gonna do I think is I'm gonna see if I can get in for free and light a candle. Surely they'll let me work there. Pilgrimage. That's a candle lit in the minster, and then one at the end. Now, that's just symbolic. Same as getting your stone, when you do the coast to coast and you get your stone and then you throw it in the sea. It's the same as that, I think. Just light a candle there at the beginning and then light one at the end. I feel like a bit of a wazzock, just like talking to the camera with big GTA 5 hiker mode on. When there's loads of people about, look at this building though. And look, they're doing work here on the Minster. They have the stonemasons and you can see what they're doing. Don't look at my dates. There you are, three quid to help them crack on. Because there was a huge fire that nearly took out the Minster a bit ago. Well, quite a while ago now. And they've just been renovating it and making it all good. And it looks pretty special. It's huge, mate. What's this gadge doing? You having that? A few hungover fairies, I think, maybe in there. Over here. Sidetracked like fairies. From a gothic cathedral to a fairy walk. This is a good start. Fish. It's a bit overgrown down here, but it is stunning. Just following the river foss. Look at this gadget's house. He's got his so a little jetty, his fishing rod with float gear, just always set up. It's ideal. Got a moor hen. And so yeah, we're heading out of the city of York. We're gonna be hitting here. Uh, the suburbs and the outer villages and my plan is today to get way beyond that. I've got to do at least 23 miles. I'm on a little bit of a schedule. I was delayed in setting off so I'm on a bit of a schedule so I've given myself three days. Whatever I do today I don't have to do tomorrow. Mate, it's just lovely rubbernecking and just like peering into people's gardens because as a gardener as a landscaper, I appreciate the work that's gone into them. And just as a nosy beggar, I like having a look in other people's gardens, all right. And I'm as, just as happy looking at a shit one as I am a really nice one. The smells, mate, is so nice. I think it's just Himalayan balsam, though. That's a, a real invasive and destructive species that litters our riverbanks. Look at that. Mate, he's got a canoe treehouse through the 
Oh. And this is it, look, Himalayan balsam. Often called as well, like policeman's helmet. There's no bees in there. Looks like a witch's hat to me, but they say policeman's helmet. You can use it, you can eat it, in fact, but it'd be a losing battle to try and eat your way, <laughs> eat your way through it. That's it, we're off out into the, the outer villages now. I mean, what's this? I'll go across that if you're not careful. What's the point? The first gate of the trip, and it's one of these ones, look. Nice and worn in, lovely little patina on there. Very quiet for a metal gate. Let go. Oh, that is stunning. Oh my goodness, look at that. They've even put a little sound deadener on it for... I mean, it didn't work on that bit, but a little cushion, stop it whacking. There it is. Will I ever stop doing it? No. I do like the walk along, like the leave the camera walk shot. It's just a lot of the time I don't have it in my heart to just let you know that... Because you know, fine well, that when someone's doing that and that's all part of a... And they're on their own, they're running back foot camera, in it, And uh, I'd rather film myself going back foot camera than, uh, than not. Most of the time. Sometimes I think it calls for it, but a lot of the time we're going back to get you. And here we go. He's got one on the other side at field. Has he put a soft fit? He has, yeah. Respect. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. It's a good day to be alive. Look at this, look straight and thing. Oh, I know. Uh, there's probably a handle on here and it's come off. You wouldn't have it that that rough a finish. It's an old one, old school. It's been there a while. It's no good. Oh, it's. Uh, that is a shame, because that one's so taut. See if we can get in. Have a nosy. It's locked. <laughs> Church is locked, young pilgrim head. What was it, the Archangel's Way or whatever it was I did before? I've done a pilgrimage before, where you're stopping off at all the churches and getting little stamps. I don't think this is a stampy one, which I'm grateful for, because that would have been me first one down. <laughs> ah, you can go through that field, but you can also go up here as well uh, I'll do this don't go that way I started to keep going that way there's a little turn here turnip head Tina turnip how oh, she faring oh noisy oh. solid noisy 7 out of 10 no 5.7 out of 10 Crab apples, nah. Good for making jellies and things like that, but uh, not good for eating straight off the tree. There's another chicken of the woods. Too far gone though. It's lost that bright yellow. It's gone sort of anemic, but you can smell it. That mushroomy smell is delicious. And it makes me, what? Medic! get crow chilling out in well not chilling out we're just waiting for an ambulance um it makes me think about mushroom season that's literally just around the corner when i smell that and i can't wait mate already coming out onto a bit of road work oh i know where i am i know where i am lad <laughs> unbelievable jess i'm loving this it's so good hiking around my ends and just linking it all up Get across without getting squashed, mate. On bridge, is it a good shot? I don't know. Find out later, won't we? What's over here? You can have a look at our car. Any good? Anything good over there? Am I in the right spot here? I've got over the road. Couldn't film it though, because it was like a computer game. I had to have all my wits about me. I don't know what this is, mate. I don't know where I am. I'm that little triangle there, and I want to be coming back. That, see the, the green line, there's a little red line. That red line is where, is where I'm going. So I need to double back here and find a way onto that. Through this gate, is that what I'm supposed to do? 
padlocked. It's padlocked. It's padlocked turn. Padlock on it, Tony. Horse flies, mate, the worst. But if you want to get horse flies, what you do, top tip, when they land on you, because they're horrible little things, aren't they? When they land on you, don't be alarmed. Just give them a second and they'll try and put their, they're like, they'll settle into you and then you can just boink. But just give them a second to get settled in before you give them a hadouken. I'm not off in farmer's field, am I? Don't want to get shot and mulched into the field. No wonder it's not on map anymore. It's a bit overgrown, isn't it? Yeah, we're all right. Come on. Perfect. You seen Gladiator? Do, do, do. Bit overgrown this one. What we got? Nettles down there, thorns, hawthorn, bramble. Yeah. You can see how you know. <laughs> you can see how untrodden this is, which is amazing. I know that I couldn't find much information about it there, you know. It's not a, a well-known route, but it will be. I'm championing the route. <laughs> An old dryad saddle and a medic. What has happened here? I'm loving it. There's a some woods over there. That was my. That's near the village I used to live in. My local woods. I wouldn't even know this path was here. And that you could link it all together like this. There's something about starting in a city and then gradually it gets more remote and more remote. Just stumbled across York City training ground. Just tucked away, mate. Who would have thunk it? Doing it all proper, aren't they? Ah, oh, look at it. York City. Might get me some of York City top, actually. York City football top. I'm getting sidetracked here. I'm supposed to be doing this hike and I'm like, so <laughs> York City training. I'm like, should I be a York City footballer? Focus on the task at hand. One last look at lads. I think that's A team there. That's either B team or youth team. Go on the Minster men. Elderberry is good for making wine and juice and whatnot. Right, we've got a bit of road walking now, maybe five miles. Oof, till we get to Hubie and then it's a little mixture of country lanes, fields and I like all that sort of stuff just worming my way around but for now it's just on this path on each side of the car there's no views and there's no breeze, it's warm yeah, I'm always a bit giddy when I set off and just sort of finding me hiking legs and stuff and it takes me about 10k or so and then you sort of forget about where you've come from and you focus on where you're going, or at least I do. So forget about the Minster. That's all in my rear view mirror now. And then I have Whitby Abbey. Is like my, is seared into my brain as that's my destination. All roads lead to Whitby Abbey. And it's not for everyone this sort of hiking, but once I'm on it, I'm like, that's it. We'll do big miles and we'll get to the destination. I, I don't often give myself time to stop and smell the roses because it's a long way, 72 miles. You've got to smell the roses. You can't not. You don't have to stop and smell them. It's like that. Bat on. Look at these, look. Cud chewing legends. Yeah, let's do some uh, filmmaker at year award. Although I can't really say that because that was a few years ago, wasn't it? But here we go. You've won. Here we go. We're off the road. I was maybe about six mile all in. Something like that. Five and a half, six mile to this point here. What I love is uh, 
just the ever-changing scenery and I love going through little villages I know I can't really film much going through little villages because webs but I like it because I just love rubbernecking houses I love like having a little look at the architecture what you got going on in garden what you've, how have you done your house up how do you afford to live there I think a lot of the time these beautiful houses I think I just think what do you do what do you hey up raspberries it's only a little one but my first raspberry of the season sensational what's that horsefly okay <gasps> there's loads and they're ripe slack handful of raspberries labor of love but then all that in a wanna unreal <laughs> Ah. Mm. Oh my word, <sighs> British summertime, that's what we'll be having on here, there'll be plenty of uh, raspberries, brambles, maybe wild strawberries, everything seems to be out a little early this year, this is a lovely little section, especially after all that road walking, lovely underfoot, nice and soft cool from the trees nice and peaceful <sighs> top draw what's this oh, yeah. <sighs> i like that very unassuming obliterated by stuff i don't know what I hope it's not giant ogweed, but legs are on fire. I know there was a few nettles and thorns and that, but some at that bottom there, and it's all red and swollen. That was something different, that. Not just a nettle. So, see how that pans out. Ankle's starting to hurt a little bit. Nowadays, the first thing I'm doing when I start to feel it is uh, making stuff for you guys on uh, I've gone down I've gone down and I can't get up how am I? how am I doing? I've really jacked myself up a bit there mate it's alright though innit whatever ankle's gone shit oh shit ankle's gone and <laughs> Oh no, I'm supposed to be doing a long distance hike soon. And I've been gunning it on that road. Anyway, excuses. Which way do we go? Map time. Right, that's me, that arrow. So, yeah. That way. Ah, <laughs> rural. Rural AF. And we're sort of going through this field. Down this track. It's saying roughly this is the way to go. It's just like a tractor mark, really. But uh, this, these are his crops. All oh, crops are over there. This is all just whatever scrub. Chamomile. I've goofed. There was a fence down here. There was a gate, sorry, that said beware of the bull. And then it had electric fencing all around it. So I thought there's no way you go through there you must go down here and you and it in but i can't scale this fence because there's an electric fence running across top of it that just zapped me plum it's not the strongest of fences i don't want to be knackering anyone's fence up so annoyingly i've got to go back right through to the other side some shoulder work in that and then look yeah There you go, not going anywhere. I've deployed a single walking pole for the sole purpose of keeping the bull at bay because there's a load of cows in here and there's a load of babies and juveniles and all that so they're quite inquisitive. They don't mind running after you and uh, there's a big bull in there that hopefully won't feel threatened by my biceps and try and bully me off site 
Well, if he does, anyway, I've got this, right, at maximum stretch, right? Keep him like that at bay, or a quick thwart round hide. A quick hiding. There's farmer in tractor over there as well. He might witness me getting, well, he might witness his prize bull getting ended if it kicks off. Are you behind that electric fence? I think you are, mate. So just stay there. I don't want no, I don't want no beef. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, mate. No one's been this way for a long time. It should be a public footpath because it sent me in here and there's the public footpath or what's left of the public footpath sign and this gate should be allowed through there but I don't want to just then where? because there's horses in there a sign there but I can't see a way through i have get electrocuted mate Alright lads, ah, and it's, look, it's live as well, so I'd have to get my bag off, throw my bag under, sort of army crawl, army crawl through it, and also hope that this guy doesn't maul me. I don't fancy going in through horse field and having to deal with that electric fence and stuff, just doesn't seem like the right thing to do, even though that is a public right away, it says on my OS map and there is a sign there, it's probably just not been used for so long. So what I'm thinking of doing is just hopping this fence, hopping this gate, and hoping I can get round that way. Unless a farmer's gonna do something, I don't know. We should probably shoot me, that's what he'll do. Probably shoot me for trespassing. If I make myself look like I'm just absolutely puddled, which isn't far from the truth, uh, I feel like as soon as I make any move, I'm getting like, I'm getting shouted at or shot at. Uh, one, jeopardizing horses in that. And two, Going over his gate. Right, I'm going for the gate thing. Climb over an inch, so I'm not gonna mess it up or out. Can I get out? Yes, look at that. Look, mate, it was the right decision because I'm not going through lecky fence with horses and that. Because look, I've made it. I've made it. Look, public footpath, right? Through here, lecky fenced off. Tut tut. Look here, look, another public footpath sign. It's just all overgrown, there's no... No one's done this for a long time, have they? I'm going for it. it says I can through the middle of the field, watch me, shot. GoPro, you hear a bullet go, GoPro drops to the floor. Do 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 do. So you make your way through here, there's a faint path, but then a bridge with a knackered old sign on it. <laughs> Here we go, telling me to go this way through here. Madness. Public right away, mate, and it's just through this field. Farmer can't be happy with public right away, straight through the middle of the cornfield, look. Crick. Crick. What's the crack? Crick. <laughs> Curriculum vitae. Oh. There's another church, look here. Craig Church. See if we can get in. Yes. Oh my God. Water, is that good drinking water? No, maybe not. Might be holy water though. Right, how do I get out of this church, mate? I'm stuck. It's nice, and it? It's a nice little bit of a respite to have a stop in churches. It's really lovely. And to, the, to think we end up at the coast. I'm having it, I'm having it. Morale is high. Chafing a little bit and ankles tweaking, that's it. Just one of these ones. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Hey, that's very nice. Welcome to the Hawardian Hills. I might have a sit down, man. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh yes. Ah, don't mind if I view. I 
random bench in the middle of this field, look. A lovely view up to the castle. Looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? Might get a bit of wet. I'm uh, just on the 17 mile mark now. Well, over 17 miles, about 17 and a half miles. Look how overgrown it all is. Right, let's get stung to bits. Stung up back at legs, that's good. And he's through. <coughs> Cheers. There's the church that I went in. Through these trees on the top of there. So now what? Through here? There's a lot of cows in here, like. They're coming for me. They're all coming, look. I don't fancy it, mate. Oh, they're not stopping either. I'll go around because they're all coming for it, aren't they? And, you know, I'm 19 miles deep. Legs aren't up too much. Won't be able to outrun them. <laughs> all right, you win. <laughs> Look at them all coming for it. I know they're just curious and they want something to eat or whatever, but can't be dealing with it at the moment, mate. Normally I'd be through the middle of them, you know I would. Linking up with the Foss Way. The Foss is the river that I was following at first, and that goes round the other way, but it still comes out here, so I guess you could do that if it's more well trodden. Uh, the only thing with that one is that you don't hit the churches, so it's less of a pilgrimage, I guess and not the official Whitby way, which is what I'm doing. But I think doing the Foss way as part of this would be quite a good idea. FYI. I might have come out of traps a little bit too fast. Yeah, because the old, uh, the old ankles hurt in a little bit. As soon as you get to around the 17, 18 mark, you're no longer in the realms of day hiking, are you? You've crossed over. You're doing something different there. There's so many of them, isn't there, look? If they all just knew about strength in numbers, that's why we, they call people sheeple, don't they? Like, sheep, don't be a sheep. Because look at them all, just doing what they're told, but if they wanted to, it wouldn't take many of them, well, it probably would, but to just overpower me and get out of here and just go live somewhere nice, go live by the seaside or something. See you later, everyone. Thanks for having me. Think that dog. Bit of six by two just screwed in. There we go, no bells, no whistles. Just how I like it, it's quite nice. Taking me time getting over this thing like. Stay where you are. Good. Good, good. Top of that mound there. There's my church, I've come all the way down here and round and the sun's come out. Looks like it's gonna be a nice evening. There's some big ones like. But I'm not feeling it, so I might just might just go down and round. I've usually got my head screwed on with big cows, but I've got a screw loose at the moment. And that's why. Full screw loose. This sun is zapping me late in the day. I'm having to ration my water as well, so I can't go, can't drink as much as I would, as I would like to, which is making me even more thirsty. I'm gonna make the definitive guide for this hike, mate, because it isn't right at the moment. I'll make sure it's right for you, so you can follow it, and uh, I'll make the mistake so you don't have to. You're welcome. I've seen it as well, it was just stood up over there, an absolute unit of a thing. If he stands up and starts coming at me, you'll be surprised how quick my legs start to feel better. The aim of the game is to get halfway, more than halfway across the field before he notices. And then if it is a mad dash, it's a mad dash in the direction I'm going. I'm not actually out to be bullied. Bullied, get it? Bullied. Whatever I got stung with on my shin is it's going crazy. Look at that, godsend. Caravan's in it, but it's got a little drinking water. Ah, oh, that's absolutely saved me. Got another mile to go till we get to Coxwold. Over there, it's got, there's a church and I think there's just one pub. 
in hindsight, what I should have done is brought, is realised that for the first bit, well, I never know where I'm going to be keeping, so you might have to end up doing a bit of stealth camping and I feel like my new tent stands out like a sore thumb. If you chuck the Lan Shan 2 in any, I mean, there could be a Lan Shan 2 in that corner now and I wouldn't know. Perfect colour for it, blends in lovely. But if there was one of mine, even just right up there, you'd be like, what's that shining bit of cling film doing? See, I would love to pitch there and go for a swim in there. It's about knee high, but I could lie down in it. This looks like a very manicured path, like you would get people walking along here. And there's a few farmers on machines just in that field there. So I'll tell you what, mate, I'm literally spitting feathers. I wonder if I'll just go and have a pint. <laughs> the 24 mile was my goal each day for three days so it lands perfectly on this pub and I wonder I wonder if they've just got lovely beers on lovely cold crisp refreshing beverages I'll have one that'll go that won't even touch size that'll just blow the dust out and then I'll maybe have another one and it'll start, it'll, get, it'll be sort of dusk and then I'll look over at the bar and I'll be like, oh, I could probably squeeze one more in. I'll have it, look out window, pitch black and I'll be like, I knew it was going to be. I knew this would happen. Also, it's summer holidays, so you're not going to get a room for the night, are you? I can't get a room. I can't. Here's my holiday, I do need this. I do need this pilgrimage talking myself into a few pints a bar meal and a room at the inn we'll see but let me tell you this whatever I choose to do is the right thing to do for me if I choose to bat on and try and find somewhere to pitch up and get one of my camping meals down me that's the right decision I've made if I decide to see if there's room at the inn and have a few wets and a bit of fodder that's the right move for me. What I'm learning more and more is, is just go with what you do. Just go with your gut instinct and what you want to do. And then just stick to it. Don't beat yourself up. Just get on with it. And that's what I'm going to do. And this is me laying the groundwork for the next scene of me gulping down a pint of Guinness. Overcooked it. I always overcook it. I couldn't go on. Two pints of Guinness and food and that. I couldn't go on. I mean, this thing. Shed. <laughs> I mean, shed. Couldn't go on. What happened was, so I ordered it. Me, uh, for food, I got lamb chops and uh, they weren't up to spec. Oh, my back. They weren't up to spec, so I'd complain because there's only there was only like one mouthful of meat on each one or whatever, and I'm starving, so I had a bit of a good waitress came out. She's like, I was that, and I was like, nah, it wasn't that good actually. Just being honest, and next thing you know, Ed Chef's out sat with me, <laughs> sat down with me, and I was just like, look, mate, it's not that good. And he says, oh, I can't help it, it just comes from butchers like that. He was mint, and then he was like, what, do you, can you get, can I get you a, a dessert? for free so i've got a sticky toffee pudding with ice cream for now so respect and we've got a deal on this thing here there's no one in it so i was like have you got anywhere to keep i don't need to be in pub and he's like yeah we've got this look at this shed in bottom at garden but look at it it's a little tour <laughs> uh, i've got a dressing gown i've got a wood burning stove that i'm obviously not going to use tiny little sink brew kit and a massive bed and then there's a composting toilet and uh, and stuff just around there so i've fallen on my feet <laughs> i've fallen on my feet look but i'll tell you something if anyone's like oh i'm not gonna go there uh everything was amazing the gravy the onion rings the dessert was one of the best desserts i've ever had this thing is amazing I get a breakfast in the morning, it's been 
it's really really good and he couldn't help it because it comes from a local butcher and he says it's just how it comes and he was real sorry about it so don't not come in. in fact come here right it's past nine o'clock i'm done in absolutely done in this should be a tent you can't have this it's, th it's thumbnail look <laughs> can't have that can i <laughs> Right, so that's it. There's no tales from 10. Unless you want to hang out with me in there. Can't really. Oh, do you want to go back to bar? Should we go back to bar and get on it with locals? No. No, I've got another big day tomorrow and then a big day after that. So two pints of Guinness is more than enough. And uh, yeah, unless something magic or tragic happens, I'll see you in the morning. D. This can't be a standalone video, can it? Because what's the, what's the actual thumbnail and what at the end... I know you all like seeing me getting wigwam at end and that's my thumbnail wigwam, but I can't have that, can I? But, so this might bleed into tomorrow and we'll just do it all. Perfect, mate. Slept like a log cabin. It was hammering it down all night. It woke me up, the rain was bouncing. I just thought to myself, do you know what? Brilliant. Uh, that was the right decision. I knew it was anyway, but the fact that it bounced it down all night just cemented it. Gonna go grab a coffee and a bite to eat. And then we're gonna start crunching some miles up through these woods, up onto tops. There we go, that's alehouse. And we're off. It's all nice as, look at it all, like just little grass paths. Bin, look, I'll take advantage of that. Nice. Back of my neck's a bit tight, so hood's gone up. Keep sun off my lugs. Oh, I feel the loads better now, like, like I'm just setting off again to start. And, <laughs> and that's the thing, doing these long miles, that's what happens to you, you end up, uh, I do. You start all nice and good, and then by the end of it, absolutely broken, and then it's just repeating that. It seems to be the only way to do big miles. Ooh, peacock butterfly. Gone. We're going to be hitting some woodland and heading up onto the tops a little bit. Hopefully checking out two abbeys, two ruined abbeys in here. Is that a wood? Yes. It still works. Look how rusty it is. You'd think that wouldn't... Does the job into the woods we go once we get up near the abbey and stuff the paths will be more defined but for this first bit it has been it's felt really like i'm the first one to hike it in a long time being trailblazer you get you do get stung a lot scratched to bits hey, up rusty old gate up in the woods whoa what's that Shack of some sort. What's that for? Just gonna have to get stung up to, to max. We don't mind thorns so much. In fact, I don't mind it all to be honest. It's only momentary, in it. Yeah, stung to bits. Ow, ow, ow. Legs are on fire, mate. <laughs> yes, we're out of there. Legs are stinging. But it is, you can just mind over matter it, can't you? With legs. Look at that deer. Quality. That was quality, that one. He's <laughs> just staring at each other, wishing I had a zoom. <sighs> that was good. Figuring each other out. And then he was like, nah, I don't trust this gadge. I'm out. <clears throat> Fair enough. Sting the merciless. Please keep to public footpath. Bulls, warning bulls. Jimmy Bullard. Whatever got me yesterday was rough. If I'd been an adder, I'd have known about it. I'd have hit deck when I. There's another chicken of the woods. Too far gone. Just drying my socks and shoes for a bit, letting my feet air out because the grass was long 
and there was a lot of dew on there so it got soaking wet and I'm about to head to Byland Abbey which is just over here and then up through some woodland and it won't be as wet I don't think so it'd be nice to tackle that with dry feet. Here is the beautiful and in this weather as well gorgeous Byland Abbey. Free to have a little look around as well. Look at that for a job. Superb. Look at that. Go tell him he's doing a good job. Archways for water. Superb job, mate. Superb. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Where are you going today? How far are you going? Uh, I came from uh, York Minster yesterday. Did you? Uh, are you camping I'm, then? Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way to Whitby. Oh, nice one. It's like a little pilgrimage thing. It starts at. Um, the minster and finishes at Whitby Abbey oh, and okay. obviously taking Byland and Reva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one, yeah. Well, it's a fairly, I've been here three, three, four months and it's a fairly sort of spiritual <laughs> yeah. place. Yeah. Uh, have you been on with this? I'm just filming this, do you mind? I'm making a video from it of me things. Uh, have you been on with this for four months? Yeah, there's a, on, on and off. It's probably about. Uh, 45 days work, but you know, th there's a lot of there's a lot of demolition, so right, yeah. If you look, this that's what all the concrete is. Oh, come mate, out. yeah, and, smash up and, and is it just you on your own? Yeah, and you've got to go all the way around there, all the way down to the end, there, yeah. 135 yards or something like that. God, that's a labor, which is a love. short wall in terms of what we'd normally do, but. Um, We'd be heavy handed though, wouldn't it? We have more men on it and No, I tend to I tend to work on my own or with another they're a bit funny wallers, they're like their own company some of them and I'm okay with my own company <laughs> and then sometimes you you know I work with nice lads sometimes. Monks must have chosen it for a reason. Well normally it's like resources, isn't it? Water and things like that, but they had um yeah they had a they built that top bit there is a road where that's where it levels out at the top. Yeah. That's a road and it was their wool road. It's what they took down to they took all the wool down to the river there. And this here is a scheduled monu monument. Can you see it's risen up there? Yeah. So that field, this field and the next field are the same level. That's a, a raised aqueduct. Clever blokes. They really were weren't they? Was, what do you uh, think they were drinking back then? Because <laughs> they must have been on summer. You think so? Mead, they? maybe? God, isn't it, though? They, they were doing it all for... For God. For, they had a different... I have a great friend who came and he's into medieval history and that and he knows all about them and he says they just their whole mindset was different. You know, the whole way they thought was different. And, I mean, it's faith, isn't it? Like, it's faith. unbound, yeah. like, it's like unbridled faith in something higher than you. And their whole head was different, you know, they're nothing that we have now. Because I'm thinking, oh, I'd be bored, what are we drinking? Like, where's, you know, where's let's have fun. A... Yeah, yeah, but the, you don't need fun. I think we've just become so soft and so used to, like, everything's sorted for us, isn't it? So now we're just like, right, I but want work, fun. Work, work and, and like, um, energetic pursuits and that bring fun. Yeah, absolutely. And you're doing an amazing job. Will you put a header on it, like a, yeah, we'll put, you, if you lean over, you can see the coach we've built on the other side there, I think. Oh, here we are, look. Yeah, so there, the coping stones. So there, are coping stones that'll go on top, and you've just chiselled all them off behind? Yeah, made them hand it. With a, with a, yeah. Wow. Well, good to meet you, mate. Yeah, what, you what's too. your name? Tom. Tom, nice to meet you. I'm Paul. Nice to meet you, Paul. Nice to meet Enjoy you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah, good luck. Be, uh, <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Yeah, because it's, it, it's a, yeah, that's it, mate. Near Rosedale, I think, somewhere up there. All right, cheerio. cheerio. See ya. I love that, mate. I love interactions like that with uh, just genuine people who are just committed to their craft. Entering Was. Was. 
What a lovely bloke. Four months he's been on with that. That's who you want doing your dry stone walling, in it. Someone who just loves it. Preferably with a big tash. A oh, village church. Cute, isn't it? Have a goose. <laughs> Little gaff. Dean Gaffney. It's a real hill. A real Yorkshire hill. Wass Bank. This is it, innit? This is more like it. Into the woods. Jackpot. I was just thinking, ah, oh, needs something like a mouthfeel, something. And look at this. Bilberries. Nah, I've got to stop, haven't I? Got to stop and pick some. Got to get a good handful. Slack handful. Full of vitamins, antioxidants. Good for you, the old bilberries or blairberries or wherever you're from. I call them bilberries, and that's that. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. That's so good. That was loads. It's just a lovely path. Bilberries everywhere. Free food. All upside at path. <laughs> Bilberry path. Isn't that stunning? Like if you were gonna hunt if you were hunting me, this would probably be where you'd get me coming out at woods like that into this clearing head down eating bilberries I'm fair game aren't I you having it oh, everything's kicking off as well butterflies everywhere bees birds sea lions wombles and then you go back into the dappled light and the shade. I'm still buzzing off eating all my bilberries. I can feel the energy it's giving me. It's like having an energy gel or something, but a natural one. John Deere. Whatever signs are there are so worn away. It just feels like you're trespassing. Like, just in the middle of this gadget's field. If I'm allowed, I love a hay bale. Never let it not be said. Just come through these nettles in between these two bushes, this little valley here. Absolutely peppered me. Oh, medic. Medic myself. <laughs> it is mind over matter, in it? Is it? At what point does mind over matter become actually really hurt oh there it is i'm on the wrong bit no wonder <laughs> there. i was thinking this is that's well difficult like all these nettles i'm up to me look at it path there look partridge farmer hey up look at that <laughs> it's not natural is it eh? human involvement up the ground is alive with them, look at it. What's the ramifications? Like, what's the knock-on effect of this? Because there's such a high concentration of easy-to-kill plump birds all around this area, miles more than there would be naturally. What's the knock-on effect of that? Like, are they eating a lot more bugs? Is there a shortage of bugs and worms and stuff? Uh, foxes and stoats and stuff like that coming in is there an influx of them are they bringing things in with them it's surely got to knock off the equilibrium of like the balance the natural balance of stuff because they're not fat they're not like in a pen they're all just <laughs> running around so if you were a fox you'd be like well let's set up base here mate because we can just eat for free so farmer blasts us for taking his stock Look at that wood there, look. That's where you are in Apocalypse, look. Build your shelter at the bottom of there. Out of the way from zombies. And you've got all these birds to just chew on whenever you want. Get eggs off them, what pheasant egg's like, I don't know. Never had a pheasant egg. Has anyone ever had a pheasant egg? What are they like? 
I'm interested because you never hear of that, do you? Pheasant eggs. You're, like, if we're getting eggs off quails, pheasants are borderline chickens, aren't they, sir? What are we doing with their eggs, please? Fly my beauties. It is stunning, Revo Abbey is. It's a lot more grand than Byland Abbey. <laughs> deep water don't threaten me with a good time and then from Revo Abbey I join on to this which is the start of the Cleveland Way fond memories of a wonderful hike head off into the woodland where it is lovely and cool in the shade and very much needed Murder! look at this gegs in a wall Having them? Yeah, kids gags. Are they kids gags or are they good for me? Now nah, they're kids gags, aren't they? Leave them at wall in case some little nippers come in to get them. There you are. Bra medic. Medic. Med tits. Stunning allotment, that. A mixture of flowers and edibles. Go on ice cream. Forgot to film it, don't matter, does it? It's an ice cream. Google it. Flagging a bit, mate. <laughs> Some big houses down here, mate. Look pretty overgrown, tick fest. Let's have a look. If it's bonkers, I'm just gonna road walk it. It's pretty. It's, oh, look, gotta blaze the trail. Which way do I go here? I'm going for it anyway. Not easy getting under them. It's a conundrum getting under them. Medic! Yeah, and the cute and quaint Huttonley Hole. Nice. Hey, look, bowling green. My little bowling balls on the gate. That's nice, isn't it? It's been a good one for gates so far. Look how quaint it is, man. Stop it. That's oh, nice and cool in here. Just hit the 20 mile mark for today. So I'm going to celebrate with some water. 21 miles deep there's another church like, I haven't been doing churches much have I I've been appreciating them but uh, I ain't got time to go in them all there's so many if you were going to do this as a proper sort of religious pilgrimage there's loads of churches and abbeys and stuff to get into oh, this is my church though this is my church this is where I heal my hurts yeah, right, okay how's this for a deal if it's open one pint because look how quaint this is man if it's open, one pint. The blacksmith's arms, how can you not? It's half past five, I've done 21 and a half miles. 25.7 miles to go tomorrow. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting a few more miles done today so it's less of a, a nightmare. But she let that sell, she's poured a beautiful Guinness there. Look at that. It's done a cracking job. See if we can split the G this time. I haven't looked at it, have I done it? I've done it. Is this history repeating itself from last night? You're coming for one. You have two. You, two, one is, two is one. Look at, I mean, look at this. Look at my view, look. Oh, we'll see where this takes me. I might bring you back for the next pint. <laughs> it's a lovely evening, sir. I want to do another couple of hours and just see where I end up. As I was sat there, the barmaid and a couple of locals came out and they put a pint on the wall. I was like, what are you doing? And they said, it's a, 
one of the locals passed away five years ago and he used to always get three pints that came to £10.5p and he always used to say, oh, I'll owe you at 5p, because he never had it. They've got a little gap in the wall and they put 5p's in it every year and today was his anniversary of his death, so they put a pint on there with a 5p next to it. That goes into the wall. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. We're off over the moors. Who would have thought it? When I was talking to that dry stone wall guy today, and he says, oh, you're camping on moors. I was like, yeah. And as I was saying, I was thinking, oh my God, it's far. I've got a long way to go. Lo and behold, here we are. The moors. I've hit the 24 mile mark, it's half seven. And I found this relatively flat area. This is the first relatively flat area that I've found. I'm thinking of this picture here, I'm gonna get a nice sunset. It's been tougher than, uh, than I anticipated. I just thought, it's because I associate it with home. Like, oh, it's from York to Whitby. Two places I've lived, it's all sort of easy. It's not easy, the amount of times I've been lost or had to go through brambles and thorns and nettles and it's been a tough tough old slog on legs beautiful yorkshire af there it is look yeah it doesn't look too bad it's definitely not stealth is it look <laughs> definitely not stealthy it's so light though futuristic but what it is, is my home for the night. And I'm happy with that. Let's move in. I chuck in the flex tail, let it run. And that'll just blow this up in no time. I do have a discount code. If you want to get a bargain on one of these, I'll leave it down below. Done, air bed's blown up. Eyes are itching. Airbed's blown up pillow, <laughs> sleeping bags out. Got a lovely view from the boudoir. Absolutely sensational, so look at that. I'm just gonna lie here in see-through wigwam and watch the sun go down. Up early tomorrow for a big day, the big final day. Have I got it in me? 24 or 25 miles, something like that, 24 miles tomorrow to get to the coast. <laughs> have a posh mocha, a bit of sugar, I don't normally have sugar on the morning but we've got a long way to go so this will do me for a few hours. <laughs> Achy. I've wiped all inside at 10, it's still a bit damp, I've got my mocha on, oh, I slept really well, I was out like a light. The heather this morning got out for a piss, just the, and the sun was shining, the purple of the heather and the contrast with the green, yeah, mate. Stunning scenes. You're saying I've got 23.7 miles to go today. Right, I'll finish my brew, get all this squared away, and we'll get going for day three. All right. Might be a bit of a hiking pole day today. We've got to get to the coast and we've got to get to Whitby Abbey. That's where I was, obviously, leave no trace. Nice little trek, this. Takes a little bit just to get the legs back under me and then, ah, <laughs> and then it's good. It's, it's like being, it's like a cycle. You get like the end of the day yesterday and the day before, I'm like, ooh. How am I gonna carry on? My legs are done, my ankles are done. And then you're off again, you feel strong. And just keep going until you start breaking down <laughs> the cycle. Look at the purple, Heather. Isn't she beautiful? I 
Don't get more North Yorkshire moors than this, does it? Now that I'm on my third and final day, it feels like going home. <clears throat> it's, it, it all sort of feels downhill. It sort of feels all the energy and everything else is just funneling towards Whitby with this valley and the way that the rivers are flowing and everything's just pointing me towards that beautiful seaside town. Descending through this woodland with views over Rosedale. Very bonny. The rowan berries are in full swing. Brambles. <laughs> mm, sensational. Look at that. Shadow fax. Stunning specimen. What the f It's these ones look where you're just walking into someone's farm. There's chickens running around. Uh, <laughs> size of that meat head. Manky old little, what do you call them, static homes or whatever. And they always have one, don't they? Seem to have one of them or some sort of <clears throat> manky old caravan. Just a bit shy at house. It's probably for, male, for men, isn't it, when they just get absolutely, when they've had enough, toiling in fields all day and they're like, I'm off to the caravan for a few wets. I'll be honest, when that dog first started running at me, I shat it a little bit. Even the sign for the North Yorkshire Moors, we saw that earlier today. He's more myself than I am. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. Emily Bronte. Parker Lee, 24th of June 2017. Manic! Young Bess. See you later. This weathered stone giant was once the heart of a sprawling industrial complex. Rosedale's East Mines began operation around 1863 to 64. The following year, the branch railway to Blakey Junction was completed. But before ironstone was sent to the blast furnace, it was roasted in these huge kilns. Look at that, that's where I am now on that ridge. <laughs> I am here, walking around here, then I'm going to go up here. This is good, isn't it? There it is, look. <clears throat> Done in iron. Coffee shop workers these days, aren't they, them guys? Mad to think it's all like disused mines. Huge mines underneath where I am. Someone's gaff, look, fire, window. <sighs> nice view. Medic! See the chimneys in the distance that we passed. So making good progress. Goodbye cinder track. Off. Back up. Medic! Back up to the tops. Some absolute heroes. Look at this, mate. How do you even begin? In the middle of nowhere. These huge bits. If I'm assuming it's just like York stone or whatever, weaving my way through the heather. I'm gonna get my head down now, get into my thought chamber for a few hours. Look at this little change of that. This is the sort of stuff you get excited about. Look at that, just a little change of texture under the foot. It's wonderful, I tell the wonderful stuff. What the f why has he just stopped? Has he just had a little bit of hardcore left and thought, Anna, I'll drive all the way up there and just smash a bit on that path, give him a bit of false hope, and then they'll be straight back into bog. I've not been updating you. I've not been on to camera much because I'm like, well, what? I've got nothing to say, really. It's like, oh, there's the same bit. There's the same bit. I'm, uh, I'm just enjoying getting my head down and just losing myself in the hiking and if you think about actually hiking too much it you know it, you can it can take a long time i like my mind just to wander all over the place and the next thing you know i'll just sort of come to my senses and i'll be in glazedale so i'm gonna do that drift off Look at 
trees, man. Lovely section, this. Lovely. <laughs> okay. You can have a long time on your own and it does you good. And then you can get to a point where it can do you not good. <laughs> it can start folding in on itself and um, just becomes a little bit of a not a nice place to be. Uh, and I'm getting there, getting there in noggin where it's like, oh, <laughs> trying to get out of it. And so, uh, well, what I've been learning, I've been, is that where I should be going? No, this is the right way. I've been learning stuff about uh, the old brain box and about meditating and just sitting with your thoughts and not getting like overwhelmed or searching for something, which is what I normally do, is searching for something to distract you from yourself. Whether that's, that can be anything, mate. It can be anything, bag of quavers, heroin, anything and uh, so I'm learning to just sit with it and like with everything it shall pass there's a rope swing over there that Joey D was on that's where we went for a little swim so this is all just repeating the same stuff mate I've, I've done this bit just out at blue I'm outside green dragon and this youth has just collared me What's your name? Superfly Jimmy Gibber. Superfly Jimmy Gibber. Respect. There you are, sunshine. Awesome. My the shed, mate. Absolute shed. Can't do much talking. Because I'm in Whitby as well. I might get seen by someone and then get outed as a clown. <laughs> oh, sorry. Exit through the gift shop, look. Need a candle. I have to admit, look, shamelessly, I, shameless, shamelessly vlogging, we did it. We did it. This last stretch has been a tough one. Tough one. Not so much on body, it's all right, but on brain box. Struggled with it a bit. Struggled being in my own thought, if I'm honest, for the last few hours. But there's a nice feeling lighting that candle in the church. This is Whitby Abbey, so that's that, the minster to the, that's the abbey, but there's, this is the church on top of the cliff there. So light a candle in the minster, light a candle in this church. A lot of people say this is it. This is the end of it, you come right to end where I can't walk anymore. It was uh, surprisingly tough actually, if I'm honest with you. Surprisingly tough, that one. So I would recommend you to do it. I, I would say, I mean, I've done it in three days there. I would maybe do it in five or six days. Check out all the abbeys and the, the churches and the little villages along the way. You could uh, slow down and do a really nice five or six day hike there. Or just gun it, <laughs> gun it and almost lose your mind to it like I've just done. <laughs> and there it is, look, Whitby, where I was born and raised. Glorious. Oh, ah, did it. Enjoyed that one though, I tell you, there was some beautiful parts. I can't think about it all now, but thank you. If you've stuck along this far, it's quite a long one, I think. Uh, longer than it should have been, maybe. But thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, take care of yourselves. Bye for now. We'll just head down, carry on. Cause what else can we do? But get through. And we'll sing hallelujah. But what is that to you right now? But let's talk in a way that can give us some faith to go around We'll hold tight as we can when 
it's better again And that'll sustain me for now